KTRH News Time is 817, and joining me in studio is Marcus Pena. He's the chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston and also a listener, uh, Marcus, uh, of the show. And I want to thank you for that, first of all, because that's how you and I began communicating yesterday. Yes, sir. I, I listen to you often every morning when I'm, when I'm on my way to work, and I, I have enjoyed the show. Thank you so much. Well, I, I certainly want to start by saying uh, how much uh, Lois and I appreciate that. Now, the reason that you emailed me is that we had uh, Luis Vera on from uh, LULAC yesterday, and he was suggesting that there may be some uh, Hispanics that will, in the Republican primary, uh, cross over to the dark side for them, for you and I, they are coming into the light. But uh, they would be crossing over uh, to uh, vote against Rick Perry. Uh, because they believe that Rick Perry is the one candidate that will hurt them the most uh, when it comes to uh, immigration and issues that are important to Latinos. You disagree with that, right? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, in the past election and uh, the midterm election in 2010, we saw a number of Hispanics going to the Republican side. In fact, in our state house, we have five prominent Republican leaders that are Hispanic, and we are seeing... A, a, a movement of the Hispanics voting Republican. They're voting. They're finally voting their values, which is you know pro pro abortion, pro life. You know, we, we, these are the core issues. We, we Hispanics by and large are, are have the same values of the Republican Party, and that is what we're reaching out to, and we're seeing that wave. And we we are expecting within the next five years that the majority of the Hispanic population in Texas, as well as in the nation, will vote Republican. So you are suggesting that if some Hispanics uh, do come over to the Republican Party, it is simply because they are lining up with the ideals of the Republican Party. Yes, sir, they are. And and they are finally, this, like you said, they are finally seeing the light. They are finally not believing no more in the myth and in the lie of the Democratic Party, where if, because you are Hispanic, you have to vote Democrat. Right. Whereas now Hispanics are voting their true values. And that is, what, that is what we're counting on. And we see that also in the African-American community. I, I, I talk to people in the African-American community that feel the exact same way. Marcus Pena joining us uh, this morning, and we're happy to have him in studio. He's the chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston. Uh, if you've got some time, Marcus, hang on. I want to come back. I want to talk to you a little bit about Herman Cain and some of the discussion I've been having this morning about whether or not he's abandoning uh, his race. KTRH News Time is 823. Marcus Pena, who's the chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston joins me today. Very nice. And you were all dressed up. I thank you for that. It's radio. You could have come in in shorts and a T-shirt, Marcus, but I, I appreciate you getting all dialed up for us today. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me ask you this. We've been talking about uh, Herman Cain um, and the fact that uh, Herman Cain identifies himself as a black American. Uh, he identifies himself as a conservative uh, running on the Republican ticket. Uh, he's also said some things about what he would do with the border. Uh, he said that he would, and I'm sure he was kidding, uh, dig a moat and put it put alligators in it to prevent illegal aliens from coming over. Uh, he also said he put up an electrified fence. Uh, he has pushed back from those statements and said that he was just kidding around. But when you look at candidates that would best serve the Latino community, do you see Herman Cain uh, as someone, uh, because uh, Luis Vera said that they like Herman Cain a lot better than they like uh, Rick Perry. Herman Cain doesn't seem to be the guy if I was in the Hispanic community. In, in a presidential election season, uh, a lot of our... Uh our candidates will say a lot of, have make a lot of comments, and yes, they will joke a lot. You know, we can't take it all as, as very literal. Uh, but we, as here in Texas, as, as a proud Texan and as a proud Hispanic as well, uh, we support our local candidate, our, our state governor. Uh, governor Perry has, uh, as you know, the, the bill that he signed to help out, you know, in-state tuitions. Uh, we believe that that helps out our Hispanic community. Our Hispanic students, uh, we want to see them achieve and go to college and be become productive citizens here in Texas and create those jobs that we need uh, as future business leaders. And that's what we're looking for. And we stand behind Rick Perry. Marcus, do you see the Hispanic community torn from side to side in terms of how you are being wooed right now for this election? Uh, we we do see it. But, you know, as as a, as a faithful Republican and as a proud Hispanic, we are shifting now from the Democratic Party because they have lied to us for so many for so many years, uh, as well as Obama promising, you know, tons of stuff for the Hispanic community and have not delivered. And we know that Republicans, by and far and large, going all the way back to President Reagan, all the way to President George W. Bush, 
have delivered on those promises for Hispanic community. And we want to stand behind the Hispanics because those are our true values. You know what, Marcus? You're here. Can you hang on? I, I got a break yes, and I would do some news here, but I want to come back and I want to talk to you a little bit more. You're a fascinating guy. Uh, Marcus uh, Pena is joining us. He's the chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston. We're going to get back to him in a moment. KTRH News Time is 837, and uh, I'm very pleased that Marcus Pena, who is the chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston, is a a huge fan of the show. Um, huge. Uh, I, uh, I stop, Marcus. I mean, enough. I mean, you've been. Oh, my. <laughs> and he's also a, uh, a gentleman who, uh, speaks, uh, very eloquently about the conservative movement, uh, in particular the Republican Party. And, uh, we were talking about uh, Luis Vera from uh, LULAC. You guys get along? I mean, do you talk? You know each other? Uh, I don't know him personally. Uh, no, of uh, him. Uh, just, uh, I, our state chairman has worked with LULAC, and we have found our differences with LULAC. Uh, as, as part of the Latino National Republican Coalition, we want to see our Hispanic population uh, achieve the goals that we know we can achieve. Uh, one thing about our Hispanic community is that we're very hardworking. Uh, we're very patriotic to this country. Uh, we we want to assimilate ourselves with, you know, our, our immigrants want to assume ourselves as Americans. We believe, by far, we are American, no matter what. We are American. What do you suggest, uh, Marcus, and, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, what do we do about uh, the illegal immigration problem, especially here in the state of Texas? How, how, do you, how do you like to address that? We need to find a true, comprehensive immigration reform package, not just a bunch of lies and a bunch of rhetoric uh, that only attract just to get the vote. But a true sit down and say, you know, this is the plan. This is what we need to go by. You know, uh, in fact, I, I have had a uh, few uh, friends that I have known that have uh, arranged their, their documents to be fixed. Uh, and they are productive citizens here in the United States. Uh, they own businesses and they have done it all the correct way. They've even sacrificed their family time to go back to Mexico for a, a six month period just so they can achieve that American dream. And and we believe that the uh, immigrants here in the United States, and especially in Texas, want to achieve that American dream. And they come to the United, here to Texas because they see that dream. And they, they know that in their home countries, they don't have that same dream. And they want to achieve it. They want to give their children a better future. And then in the United States, that's where they find that future. I would like to uh, – I have lots of questions, and I know our listeners are probably uh, sitting there on the edge of their seats hoping that I ask you a lot of questions, and I would like to. So what I'd like to do is is uh, invite you back at some point. I'm, I'm glad that we had an opportunity to open up the lines of communication. Really happy that you're here. And uh, in the future, as we move forward into this election cycle, let's you and I keep those lines of communication open, invite you back, and uh, let's talk about these issues as they come up. And, in fact, uh, this Thursday we're going to be hosting a, a – Hispanic community event in Patrick Henry Middle School where our Hispanic community can engage our Republican leaders. Uh, we're going to have uh, Juan Hernandez there, uh, as well as several other state representatives that we can engage our, our Republican leaders. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Marcus Pena, Chairman of the Latino National Republican Coalition of Houston.